All right, greetings class. Welcome to INT 1109, Application and Database Concepts. The first thing I want to do is go over, uh, we're going to do assignment one. But first, to start, you have to have Microsoft Access installed on the computer. To get Microsoft Access, you go to eResources, go to the bottom where there's Office 365 and Office, and you will be able to um, get Office or Office 365 for free with MillerMod. Here's the instructions on how to do that. Here's the log on. And if you have any problems getting Microsoft Access or Office 365 and Office 213, you go to the bottom of this page. There's a tech support, and you just give that tech support a call. All right, we're going to start with assignment one. Assignment one is in lesson one. Um, to start lesson one, you should go over all these topics. And then you'll go down to your assignment. You're going to click on the data files. You're going to save the data files. It's going to save as a zip file, and you just save it to your desktop. So I've already saved mine. Next thing you do is going to click on the lesson one review assignment. There are some instructions. The first two steps of the instructions are basically what we just did. It wants you to unzip it. Um, so I'm going to go over, actually, it's the first three. I'm going to go over how to unzip that here in just a minute. Um, when you're in a Windows computer, all you have to do is double click and you can drag out the files that you that you want. Um, this one again is a zip file indicated by the Z. You simply double click in and drag out. What I've done is I've made a folder called assignment one and I've drug all those things into assignment one. <clears throat> so I should be okay there. The next step is going to ask you to go open assignment one, access one, review and double click on the company database. It simply wants you to just make sure that's working. I'm going to go ahead and close that for now. Again, this is opening in Microsoft Access. If you double click and it does not work, it means you probably don't have Access installed and go back to the previous step about installing Access in Office 2013. So we're going to go back to the assignment. We've double clicked on Access 1. We've reviewed the company folder and now we're ready to begin the actual assignment. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the home page of our, of our assignment, I mean, of our course room. We're going to click on our book, right? And here's the link to the book. It's going to open up in a separate web page. Um, we should get this right here. If we don't get that, we simply click on the home key if you just see a blank page. Sometimes that happens. You click on the home key, it does populate. We're going to click on access. We're going to click on tutorial one. And then we're able to go to the chapter contents here. We're going to go down to practical review assignment. And we're going to get started on uh, our first part of this three-part assignment. So it wants us to open up a database and name it vendor. and Save it to a place where I specify. So for you, it's wherever you remember it is. So I simply type in the word access or start typing in access. It should populate. We'll click on that. It opens. We're going to open a blank database. Um, I double clicked it so it opened right away, but it wants us to save it as save as vendor. We're going to save it as vendor on our desktop. In assignment one, I'm going to save it as vendor. I click enter. So now, now that is saved. The next step is going to create a table. So we'll go to our steps. Um, so we've done step one. And step two, it wants us to create a table, table one. And we're going to change the primary key to supplier ID and change the data type to short text. So we simply go here. We're going to create a table. Table one is created. The, the ID is the primary key, right? But we're going to change that by right-clicking, rename the field to supplier ID. You want, and then we're just going to click out of that. It wants us to change this field to be a short text field. The easiest way to do that that I find is go to view, go to design view. It wants us, it's saying which table, or we have to save it because we're changing out. And the data type here needs to be short text, okay? So we have supplier ID, which is the primary key, right? And we can see indicated here, it's the primary key. And the data type is short text. Back to our book, and if you want, you could print this out. Sometimes it makes it easier. 
We are now on step three. It wants us to add 10 fields. All of them are short text except initial contact, um, which is date time, date time. Okay, so we're gonna add these fields. So simple, we're just gonna go ahead and change our view to a data sheet. It's gonna ask us to save it because we made that change, so we save it. And here, it wants us to add the short text field and then all those 10 field types, okay? So I'm gonna keep doing add, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna, you know, name it and stuff. So, cause I clicked out of it, it didn't let me name. Um, so we're just gonna add those 10 fields as short text, right? I just click here, I right click short text. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. I'm gonna add those 10 fields and then I'll uh, resume. I've added those 10 fields. Remember that the last field, when I right clicked, I added it as a data in time, right? That's the initial contact field that I was data in time. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm it by going to design view. And in design view, I see the, the fields. I see the data types. I see that initial contact is, uh, is part of date and time field. We double click back on the table. It wants us to name the table as supplier. I'm going to try to close it out. Um, once I close it out, I could right click and I could rename that table as supplier. If you get a prompt here, it's just probably simply saying you haven't saved your table. Do you want to close it um, without saving it or, you know, yes or no answer. So we just simply, um, you know, save the table. Um, so here I'm saving it as supplier. That is step three. We're going to go ahead and move on to step four. Um, Step four is entering all these records as shown, right? So it just wants us to add, and you can see the fields that you've just listed. And sometimes this may look distorted, and you could just click on that plus, right, to enlarge that view to see it a little bit better. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and add these fields into my database, right, by clicking on supplier. I'm going to add those fields. I'm going to show you a little bit of it, and then I'm going to pause the video while I add the rest of them. Um, so I've printed this out to make it easier for me so I don't have to keep going back and forth. So it's just simply just type in the items. I hit tab. I'm typing in the just the items that are on that, that web page, right? And do whatever it is that you need to do to make that easier for you to type. If you need to print it out scroll back and forth whatever that is so i'm going to go ahead and add these items pause the video while i'm adding them and i'll be back i finished typing all the data um, there is a, a portion there in there that says to add your name your first and last name as the contact for this first one and we'll go ahead and pull it up and then we'll go to the next step so right here it's saying be sure for the first rec record to enter your your first name and last name in there it says student uh, first student last just be sure to put yours in there for step five we're going to go ahead it wants us to open up a date the the company database that we opened in the beginning it wants us to take all the 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 items from the business table and place them in our supplier table so in other words we're taking one database table and merging it to our database so here's our database the vendor database we're going to go ahead and open up the company database that is, remember from our zip file, we put it in access one. It's in review, company database. We're going to go ahead and open that. We're going to double click on the table and we're going to click and drag our mouse. We're not going to be in this field right here. We're going to be on these columns right here, or rows. So we're click and drag and we're going to right click. We're going to right click. We're going to copy all those records. We're going to minimize our company database. We're going to open up our vendor database and we're just going to click, click and uh, paste all those, all those uh, entries. It says you're about to place 12. Are you sure you click yes? And then we've just added some items to our supplier database from the company database. Now we're going to go ahead and do best fit for all of our all of our columns so that there's not items that are too far out you know for example here so what we do is we right click on the top and we're going to go to field width and we're going to click on best fit 
Uh, we could do that for all of these here, field width, best fit, or we can simply highlight several fields, right click, uh, field width, best fit. Um, I just caution you to do that highlighting because sometimes you could get something here and drag it over to the to the next column and then, you know, like that's a drag. So just be careful when you do that, all of them at the same time. Otherwise, you may drag your fields and be out of order. Um, the next step wants us to close the table. Right, we're going to save it. We're going to reopen it from the navigation pane. So this is the navigation pane. If you minimize that, it tells you that that's the navigation pane. So in this step, it says, you don't have to minimize it. I'm just doing that to, to let you know. It's telling you to open it from the navigation pane. And you'll note that all records are in the primary key order. So we're going to open the table from the navigation pane. And it's saying the primary key is it's ordered by that, right? So if you look, it's in order by the primary key. Right. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next step. Uh, just to confirm, we have just finished step seven. We're moving on to step eight. We're creating a simple query, and we're using the query wizard to do that. And the query is going to pull up company, category, contact uh, in that order uh, from the supplier table. And we're going to name the query supplier, supplier list and then close the query. So we're going to go to uh, create. We're going to create a query. It's going to be a simple query. We're going to use, um, we need to find that order again. So let me go ahead and pull up my paper here just to confirm <clears throat> the order is, we're going to do company. Um, I think the next one is category. And then we're going to do, Contact lists first and last. First, last, and phone field. All right, so once we've got that, we're going to click next. We're going to, what's the title of it? We want to name it supplier list. And we're going to finish. So now we have our query that pulls up company, category, contact, list, and phone. And that query here is named supplier list. Go on to the next step, um, which is step nine. We're going to use the form tool to create a form um, and name it supplier info. So we'll go ahead and use the form to create a form. Uh, and that form's name is going to be supplier info. Okay. Um, you can resize your form here. It doesn't matter. The, uh, the object of that is just to create a form and name it supplier info. Okay, the next step is uh, step 10. We're going to use the report tool to create a report. And then in the layout, we're going to resize all the fields, except the company fields, that each one's slightly longer than um, the, the actual name itself. So we don't want anything to be cut off. And we're going to display and print preview to just verify that that fits across two pages. And then we'll save it as supplier detail. So we're going to go here. We're going to create tab. We're going to create a report. Um, it wants us to resize it except the company one. So that's just slightly larger than um, than the actual um, name, right? So so we click on the, the field, not the, the data in the field. We're just going to do it slightly larger than the actual items in the field, right? What we're trying to do is make sure that it could all fit on one one page here. Uh, we go to view, print preview, right? We're okay. We're going to name that, uh, I think, as supplier details. So we'll go ahead and rename. Probably won't let me because I haven't saved it, right? So we could close it, save it, rename it supplier details. Okay, so I think we're wrapping up the first tutorial. Um, 
close the supplier and compact repair vendor database close the vendor database so we're just simply going to um, make sure that we have our table our query our form our details we're going to save it um, save as we're going to save it as vendor database not vendor one right since we already have it it says you already do you want to replace it yes and then it wants us to compact and repair so we'll go ahead and do that and that concludes tutorial one